Hey, this is Joey, everybody from Garage Gym Junkies. Um, so I've been getting a lot of questions ever since I picked up these uh, Black Widow training gear dumbbell holders. Um, ever since I picked them up, um, folks have been asking um, what's the best way to set them up for, you know, shoulder press, incline press, um, flat bench press with, you know, with dumbbells. So uh, I'm going to um, quickly go over how I do it. It's probably not the perfect way. Um, it's just a way that I have recently have come across that I found my sweet spot getting it off and kind of moving around easily to put them back on. So I'm just going to quickly go over this just strictly for, uh, for, uh, for chest, for incline, and for flat bench um, since that's what I'm going to be working out today. Stay tuned. So for dumbbell flat bench, how I set it up, first thing I do is I set the dumbbell holders on the ground on the side just so they're really ready there. Take my bench, make sure it's centered in the middle. I line it up. I like to have the bench right here towards the end of the rack, so I have some room to scoot down. Try to make sure it's as centered as possible. Don't worry if it's not perfect, because once you set up the dumbbell holders, that will help you line it up. Once the bench is roughly guesstimate centered inside the center of the rack you have where you think you're going to want it, this is a quick just stop, go over to dumbbell holders. I've already lined up, so I already know where my short little fat arms go up, go up to reach the top, so I find my marker. So now, as you can see here, I'm roughly pretty center with the dumbbell holders. So as you can see here, I am going to start out real quick on something lighter that I can manage just to make sure that I have it dialed in, which I'm pretty much sure I do. Dialed into where I like it. So be mindful because the trays are right above around center of your head when you get in. So just take a look, glide in, slide yourself up. This is where I talk about lifting up your body, pick it up, scoot down an inch or so. To make sure you have the right spot where you can easily put it back in here in the trays get up and go to business so now that we summed up flat bench now let's just go ahead and fast forward real quick and jump on to setting up for incline and then i'll also demonstrate that as well so since our bench is already centered in the middle of the rack between the dumbbell holders it's going to be roughly around the same area. I'm just going to push it back a little bit further into the rack depth just so I can get the right positioning. Same theory, I'm going to be able to lift up, push off, and go up. Since I already know where I want these, I don't got to sit there and line up and kind of get a ballpark figure. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Put it right to where I know it needs to be. Push it back just a little bit from what I remembered last time I did it, and now we're set. Now that you're in, you're set up, get in, pay attention to your head, scoot up, lift, scoot down, press, lift up and scoot, place back in. Get out, once again, get back to business. Throw them weights up. I've showed you flat bench with dumbbell press with the dumbbell holders. I've showed you incline press with dumbbell holders. The same principle applies if you're gonna do decline. You're just gonna want it to where you can lift off, scoot up and scoot back and press. Shoulder press is a little bit different. You're actually going to be, for me now, in front of it and have it right above your breaking point so you actually still have strength, get up and press it up. I don't want it up too high because then it'll get in my way visually. I want it in front of me so it's not where I'm actually going to be pressing the dumbbells. I will explain that on another day, but it won't be today. I hope this helped. Um, I'm just a customer of Black Widow. I'm not some influencer or some ambassador. I hope you like these. Give the guy a check out. Dean is a great guy. 
make some awesome stuff. The tackiest black powder coating you'll ever find is from Black Widow. Um, hope you enjoy. Pick these up if you're into, if you're into doing dumbbell work. God bless. Take care, guys.